not too many survival games out there so I thought I'd take a look at this one uh, The Long Dark for review this has been in development for quite some time but it was released uh, last year but they have updated it now when you start the game you're offered with a number of choices including the story mode there are some challenges and there's a survival mode the challenges are possibly fun to start off with or when you've got a bit more experience rather but to, most people are going to want to go into the survival mode because that option lets you pick um, customize the game to your own tastes now with this story mode there's nothing particularly original with this you start off having been in a plane crash you have to remove something from your hand it's basically a tutorial walkthrough on the game it is a bit more open-ended than it was initially at release but it's not something that i really enjoyed playing so when you go into the survival mode you can pick out the regions these are all interconnected but you pick out the one to start in that's one weaker point of the game is you don't quite get that fully uh, immersive game world open world feeling that you get with some games because they split it into segments and you have uh, loading screens between them you can also pick if you're going to be a man or a woman now you do have quite a few options with the difficulty if you don't want to use the standard preset ones and I would suggest tweaking this you can adjust the environment uh, how often the weather changes whether you get extreme weather and your starting resources as well as long-term resources in the game so the game can vary anything from pretty easy to extremely challenging depending on how experienced you are user interface is quite good with this very easy to see your inventory if you've got any injuries you can also craft objects and you gain experience whilst you do this you can also read books which also help you improve your skills so over a period of time you build up your skill level so you'll be able to perform simple tasks such as starting fire will be you'll be more efficient at doing this whereas at the start very often it won't work or if you try and repair some clothing you'll have some issues doing that it will fail sometimes graphics are quite stylized it's very similar to firewatch if you've ever played that game i quite like it myself they haven't gone for the ultra realistic look but um, it does seem to work quite well particularly in combination with the sound effects not a huge variety in the graphics in terms of the location you're in Canada there's a lot of snow so water is never a problem but uh, some of the buildings can be quite repetitive inside I don't find it a huge issue because you're mainly focused on building up your equipment and experience and later on you'll find uh, things like rifles and hacksaws and axes and items you can make yourself to improve your chances of survival the problems for me occur with the animal behavior you can see the bear here has just attacked me and at the higher settings it will instantly attack you if it sees you that's my experience and that is a real problem because it's not very realistic bears do attack people but uh, not all the time and likewise here with the wolves you get quite a lot of them around and they also will instantly attack you at the higher settings if you turn the settings way down the problem with that is it becomes the exact reverse so that you will be able to chase the bear away there's no sort of happy medium even though there are quite a few options to tweak that so that's something i'd like to see addressed a realistic setting for the animals because that does take the edge off of it in my experience it does present more of a challenge but obviously you want something sometimes which is a bit more uh, true to life now if you go into the options you can see there are quite a lot of different settings for the wildlife and that includes the number and quantity and how they react but i found that it didn't really make a huge difference it's either one way or the other there's no happy medium so that's something i'd like to see looked at as far as playing the game though, I quite enjoy playing this game because it's uh, quite simple but it also relies heavily on strategy. So you'll want to, for example, plan when you sleep, whether you travel certain distances, whether you have enough resources to do that. And later on you'll be able to craft objects, um, skin animals and improve your overall chances of survival. That includes being outside in the cold weather, you can make knives, things like that. I mean it's true to say that long term it could potentially become boring because in the survival mode there is essentially no end goal. Although I haven't found that a problem, it's not a game that I play frequently or for extended periods of time. Now cooking is also a problem with the game because you can't multitask and do anything else when you're cooking and that's not particularly realistic although they do have an element where if you have tools such as a hacksaw or a knife you'll be able to for example uh, extract meat from animals quicker than if you were just using your hands. 
And if a corpse is frozen, then you won't be able to actually take any meat off of that at all. Unless, of course, you put it next to the fire and sort of thaw it out a bit. That's definitely a weaker point of the game, and they hopefully will be addressing that. Also make snow shelters. If you take these away, you will lose some of the resources, but you can leave them there and come back to them so you can strategically place them at points for exploration. Over a period of time, they can degrade, so you'll need to repair them. And the same goes for things like clothing. If you get uh, cloth, cloth items, you can repair those after a while. You'll need cloth resources, so you can scavenge for resources. You'll need leather, things like that, and be able to fix and repair items. So items can degrade over a period of time, so the knife will get blunt, so you can find a stone to sharpen it. These elements add up to make quite an interesting game. This isn't going to appeal to everyone. It's quite a slow burn game. Unfortunately, didn't like the fact that they also decided to limit the game world in some regions by simply having a thin ice warning come up and then you crash through the ice. That just felt kind of cheesy to me as a sort of cheap way of trying to stop you get outside of the area. You also can't jump, which is a strange omission because you find yourself having to wander around whereas you'd normally be able to jump up on something. So I don't see that game mechanic changing that I wish it would. Special mention has to go to the sound effects, they've done a very nice job on that. The music tends to be quite passive, it's not annoying and not too repetitive either, it doesn't continuously play. So I quite like this game, it definitely has a lot of potential, it's something a bit different, it's a slow burn game, not really going to appeal to someone who is looking for a quick fix or action because there isn't much. I would have liked to have seen a few more weapons included such as handguns, there's only really a rifle in this game but you can use uh, hand weapons too. The developer is working on updates so hopefully they'll be able to fix some of the issues including an update for the cooking which is a bit of a problem at present so thanks for watching and i hope that was useful